Hey there guys, this week we're checking out Road to Vostok, which is a hardcore single player survival game set in a post-apocalyptic border zone between Finland and Russia. The goal of the game is to survive, loot, plan, and prepare your way across the border zone and enter the Vostok. The game is currently available as a free demo on Steam and the next update, Public Demo 2, will come out later in the fall of quarter 3 of this year. Road to Vostok's gameplay will focus on survival, looting, trading, events, and shelters, all with the goal of entering the Vostok, which is a permadeath zone. If you die in the Vostok, you will lose everything, including all of your shelter items as well as your save files. The game will offer a hardcore survival sandbox experience with realistic weapon mechanics, tactical weapon handling, medical conditions, and in-depth character simulation. As you find loot, you will have the ability to scavenge, store, and craft hundreds of items throughout the world with real-world parameters such as weapons, tools, medical items, military gear, electronics, apparel, and more. You will buy from and sell to traders with an intuitive refuse or accept value system. You will also be able to purchase services such as medical care or weapon maintenance. The game world will include random events such as crash sites, airdrops, ambushes, and special trading quest events. Weather events such as rain and thunderstorms will also happen at random. Each map is based on a real world location and is connected to the other areas. They also will have their individual difficulty rating for the level of AI that you will face. As you progress further east towards the Vostok, the harder it will get, but the rewards will also be greater. There are shelters spread throughout the map. These act as safe zones to store your loot, resupply, and recover. There is a variety of sizes of shelters, and they also can be customized. Shelters are the only way for you to save your game. Looking towards the future of this game, the developers have posted a roadmap to Public Demo 2, which has a long list of new additions to the game that will come with the next update. In that roadmap, there is a mention of the game being featured at the PC Gamer Show on June 11th. In this video is my first time trying out the Public Demo 1 that is available on Steam. The demo currently features one map and the first iteration of the base systems in the game. Everything is obviously very early in the development and is subject to change. Thanks you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Morning sandbox, Road to Bostock. Public Demo 1, version 2. Start the demo by going through the tutorial signs in the following order. 1. Welcome. Tutorial signs in the following order. So we got 1, 2. Okay, where's 1? Here we go. Character feels very slow. Welcome. Welcome to the public demo of 1B2. The purpose of this small demo is to get the initial feedback on the core mechanics and to give a realistic picture of how the development is progressing. Road of Vostok is currently in the active production phase and solo developed from Finland. Have fun testing the demo. You can freely stream, record, and share the footage from this demo. Hey YouTube, what's new? Compared to the first public demo 1 version, here are some of the most important changes. And whoever has to update this sign every single time that you make a change is gonna suck. Containers. All objects that logically have storage space are loot containers that can store items. Each container, whether it's cabinet, crate, tent, or trash bag, updates every time when you enter the map. You can open containers with metal mouse. Okay. In, in addition to containers, loot is also generated through simulation, which makes sure that items are never in the same places. Okay. All items are physical objects. You can loot them, grab them, and place them anywhere you want. In this demo, items are demonstrated using these colored cans, which also represent item rarity level. You can loot and activate items with middle mouse. You can grab and place items with G. Okay. Very cool. Эвакуация района началась. Посторонних людей просят держаться. Okay. Very cool. So is it gonna show rarity and items? That's cool. Alright. Equipment. In this demo, the equipment is only visually represented through the 2D character preview. In public demo 2, equipment will affect your character's carrying capacity and many other stats. You can wear equipment by moving it from the inventory to the character preview or by dropping it directly into a slot. So, tab, I guess. 
Okay. I like this system so far. I drop this. Cool, actually. I like that. Each weapon uses a procedural weapon handling, aiming, and recoil system. Once you have moved a weapon from the inventory to the equipment slot, the weapon is available for activation. You can activate primary weapon with one, secondary with two. You can lower and raise weapon with scroll. Alright, what weapon do we want to use? Not the SVD, I think. What else do we got, though? Makarov. We've changed the names of the weapons. Probably to avoid the legal troubles. As other games do. CSS is the right name though. Mosin's the same as well. I like the aiming. I love games that actually tilt the head like this. It's very cool. Okay, attachments. First iteration of the attachment systems and weapon modding works through the weapon UI. When you have a weapon activated, you can access weapon UI by inspecting the weapon with X. Oh, that's cool. Once you have compatible attachments in your inventory, you can swap them with 1, 2, 3, 4 and remove with shift 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to take all this stuff. Okay, so things take time to put on. That's cool. I didn't have a mag or anything else. So now this is with an optic. Hello to you. Oh, I had bullets. <laughs> I didn't know I had bullets. This demo uses an AI spawner that endlessly spawns enemy to the village map. When the AI spawner is activated, three enemies will spawn on the map at once. You can activate the AI spawner from the demo using the escape key. Alright, so this is the village. model taking up a fair bit of real estate on the screen these are hard to see so did they already spawn AI then automatically or do I have to spawn them myself just standing up in the bottom left I don't think it's working quite yet so is there like random generated loot then? There's an item right there. Cool, so that's just an idea then of what you would you could find some stuff. Like in this house. They don't have any real items it looks like yet. What does that say? Demo transition. Oh! Can I walk through the areas? Oh dear. Oh, yeah, AI was off. Environments look cool. I think some of the trees in the background look a little... Like the LOD looks kind of... I really hope they don't suffer from, like, the grass thing. I guess it doesn't matter. It's single player, so it doesn't... I was thinking about, like, how in multiplayer games, if you were at a certain distance, people that think that they're hiding in a bush feel safe because... They're in a bush, but to players far away, they're just lying out in the open. But this is not multiplayer, so that's not a problem. Yeah, so like how all this stuff is washed out over there. This is made with Unity. So maybe we'll, I'm sure we'll get further passes and stuff on graphics that'll make this look even better. But for an early, like, early public demo, looks good I, I mean especially like the gun models and stuff like that looks good oh oh I'm bad 
Let me just do that. Can I go prone? Draw sounds, that's cool. Do I have infinite ammo? Yes, but magazine size still matters. Yeah. Hello? so far. Or am I? I think that. <laughs> Alright, do these guys like drop loot or something? That's kind of cool. Oh! Another one. Oh, there we go. Finally, I was trying to see if I was actually going to get hit. So my health is like 75% that you can see that down there in the bottom left. Okay. Where is this guy at? I'm gonna take the scope off. Or switch it. Well, there you go. There you go. And take his loot. My ah! Alright, I want to see what like dying looks like so far. Ooh, there's looting temporarily blocked. This specific weapon model needs new textures. Moving and scoping feels good with this scope. Where this guy's at? One shot and I'm dead though. Some of these environments are very placeholder for now. There's like no mu muzzle flash. He's right there. Oh, another one. I cannot tell where he's coming from at all. this water. Nice, they got actual footstep sounds and underwater views. That's cool. So it's just like simple swimming. Let's see this next area. Nope, just put you back here. Okay. Well, yeah, so I guess that's that's Road to Vostok so far with what they've got. I like what I'm seeing. I, I definitely will be following this project. Single player is not really my thing so much, but this, what this has is kind of cool. And I definitely felt like I missed the boat with like Stalker and stuff like that. And those games are just a little too old for me to enjoy. So I'm waiting for the next Stalker game. But this is something that I think with what they've got so far, they've got a lot going for it. So, and this is all the stuff that they're coming, that's coming in the next demo, which is supposed to be quarter three of this year or so. Shelter system, trading system, medical system, ammo system, AI system, the new update to the AI system, boats, over 100 items of loot, character stats, weapon stats, item contact, swimming, and fishing. Well, there you go, fishing. <laughs> I think I have new areas. This is cool. Yeah, so 
I'll be uh, following this project closely moving forward, so. That's cool. I like it. <laughs>